First thing we need to do is go to the input map. So just to go project, project things, input map. We need move forward, move backward, move left, move right, move up, move down. And then we're just going to assign move forward to W, move backward to S, move left to A, and then move right to D. We also need to assign move up to Q and move down to E. This can be any key you want to so that summarizes our input. Then we need to add a kinematic body. We can call this camera controller. Then it's whining about a collision, so I'm just going to add a collision shape, collision shape. It can be just a simple box shape, and you can just make it something really small. It doesn't have to be that big. We're not going to be using it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And then we need to add a spatial node. So spatial, this is going to be our camera holder. Camera holder. And then we need to add in a camera. So just type in camera to add node. And then we're going to rotate the camera holder a little bit. And I'm going to increase the FOV on the camera just a tad. Now we can add a script to our camera controller. So just click on the kinematic body, add a new GD script. And then we need to create three variables. The first one is camera speed, float. We're just saying this is equal to 25. This is how fast the camera moves. The camera vertical speed is how fast the camera moves on the y-axis. And then var velocity is movement that we're going to be applying. And we also need two other variables. Max pause z. This is how far the user can go in the z direction. So forward and backward. And then x is how far they can go left and right. And then we need two more variables for the y-axis. So we're just going to copy paste that into there. So min pause y float is equal to 0 0.5. So this is how low the camera can go to the ground. And then max pause y is how high the camera can go. We can get rid of these comments here. And then we can uncomment the physics process delta because we will be needing that. And then the first thing we need to do is set the velocity to vector 3. And then we need to check for input. So if input dot move forward, so that is pretty much it. input dot is action pressed, move forward. So we're checking if we press W, we need to apply some velocity. So velocity dot Z minus equal camera speed. And then we need to do the same for left, right, and all that. So move backward is velocity dot Z plus equals camera speed. Move left is velocity dot X minus equal camera speed. And move right is velocity dot X plus equals camera speed. And then we also need to do this for up and down. So what we're doing here is checking if the user presses Q. Then we're applying some, we're adding something to the vertical velocity. So camera vertical speed. And then we're doing the same thing for move down, except we're subtracting. And then next thing we need to do is is clamp this to prevent it from going too far. So we're just doing translation.x is equal to clamp, translation.x, negative max pause x, max pause x. And then we need to do the same thing for z. So instead of x, it's just going to be z. And then for translation.y, we need to do min pause y and then max pause y. And then we can apply our forces. So move and slide, velocity. So that pretty much summarizes our script. We can go into our game scene, and then we can just add the camera controller into here like this. Um, let me just reset the translation like this. Now I can just move it up just a tad. It doesn't really matter how far you move it up. I like something equal, equal to like 3.5. I found that's a nice one. And then I can run the scene, and then we can see everything works. It clamps our movement eventually. Yes, as you can see here, we're no longer going back. We can also go up and down if you wanted to. So as you can see here, I'm really close to the ground, and now I'm really far away from it. So you can just tweak these values to get this to whatever you want to. But thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Fun Uber, out.